Hi, this is Mo from Smart Training 365. Although we have different backgrounds and our fitness goals can differ from one person to another, using the safest and most effective exercises to build muscle is what we should all seek. But what I see, whether online or in the gyms, is that people have mixed goals that sometimes contradict each other, or they use the wrong exercises for their goals. They believe that all the exercises are equally efficient so if they know three or four exercises to work a particular muscle, they might do them all in the same session, thinking that the more they do, the better the outcome will be. It's true that doing many exercises, aka using the gunshot approach, will result in muscle gain. But what they weren't aware of is that those exercises didn't contribute equally to the end result. Some are better than others. They could have used the best exercise out of the four, and instead of doing, let's say, 12 sets, they could have done four sets of the best one and achieved the same or even better results. Look how much time and effort they saved. There's actually a way to measure the efficiency of any resistance exercise. And this is what has been missing in the world of resistance exercise. It's not EMG, and it's not, trust me, this work is based on 16 biomechanical factors that determine exercise efficiency. These factors are based on physics, anatomy, and neurology. They will allow you to evaluate any exercise and decide for yourself if it's really worth including that exercise in your workout routine. Here is how our system works. If an exercise meets all 16 factors, that exercise is considered a brick 20 exercise because it's the best exercise to load the targeted muscle with the least amount of wasted energy. An exercise that meets, let's say, 14 or 13 factors might be the second best or the third best. The less factors an exercise meets, the further from optimal results we move. You will discover that there is only 20 movements that comply with these factors. That's why we call them the Brick 20 exercises. Some muscle might have two or three best exercises that comply with the 16 biomechanical factors. Some might have only one exercise. Here is a picture that explains what I just said. So as you can see, there can be exercises that comply with all 16 biomechanical factors or some of them. So it's better to use the one that complies with the most factors because it gives you the best out of your time and energy. This should be important to you. Learning which exercises to use will make your workout more productive and effective. I agree with those who say many people achieved great results using compound exercises, but those exercises are not designed to work our muscle optimally. That's why we see many people suffer from joints, discomfort, and injuries, even though they perform those lifts with proper form. Yes, there are people who are lucky and didn't get injured, but not everyone is lucky. The point is, why work harder than you need to when you can achieve the same results without injury and joint discomfort? Here's what I will tell you. Depending on the person's goal, there's a place for compound exercises if they mimic a skill movement or if the person is a power lifter. And there is a place for the Brick 20 exercises as well. We did a seminar with a group of professional power lifters in New York, and they agree that the Brick 20 should be included in their program because it helps them strengthening muscles that are triggered during the big lifts that are usually the weak link in the chain and can't be optimally strengthened with compound exercises. But by focusing on those muscles using the Brick 20, they were able to improve their performance and lift heavier and safely. When you understand the 16 biomechanical factors, you will discover that there is no need to use compound exercises if your goal is optimal muscle development. The best way to build muscle is to load and stimulate each muscle of the body optimally, and this can only happen with specific movements for each muscle based on its strength curve, direction of fibers with the proper resistance curve, avoiding reciprocal inhibition, and other factors. This can't happen with compound exercises. The Brick 20 exercises are not only for bodybuilders as many think. There are different ways to use these exercises. They can fit in any sport and goal because they are foundational. Here's what I mean by foundational. You can choose to strengthen each muscle of the body optimally in its ideal environment. Then the strength you gain 
can be used in anything you want really if you're an athlete for example incorporating the brick 20 exercises in your training program will help you perform in the skill movement of your sport more effectively which will lead to better performance in competition and help you with injury prevention rather than using only skill movements to strengthen your body and improve your sport skills but end up getting injured from those movements or from using poor resistance training exercises. If you're a bodybuilder, you will be able to sculpt your body and work each muscle individually to its full potential with the right intensity and frequency without jeopardizing recovery. If you're a senior citizen, it's important to build or at least maintain muscle mass so you can enjoy life without limitation. This is doable with the Brick 20 at home or in the gym. And if you simply want to look and feel your best at any age but you have a busy schedule, there is a way to use 14 Brick 20 exercises so you can work out effectively and frequently enough without spending too much time in the gym. So as you can see, although the goals are different, the exercises remain the same and how they are used varies from one person to another. That's why we consider the Brick 20 foundational exercises. It's a completely different way of resistance training that will allow you to achieve your goal by selecting the right exercises and if you're a trainer or a coach, learning these 16 biomechanical factors and applying them with your clients will definitely set you up for success and will help your clients achieve their results more effectively and safely. That is what smart training is about. We want to provide you with valuable information that is the fruit of 40 plus years of experience in the fitness industry so you can be your own trainer and know the difference between truthful information and information that is made for content and likes. We teach you how to fish so you don't depend on anyone. Of course, we learn every day and we evolve every day. But physics is physics. A neutral level is a neutral level today or thousand years from now. If you have any questions or want to know which program suits you best, please email me at mo at smarttraining365.com or visit our website smarttraining365.com. Take care.